All right, everybody. Welcome to a walkthrough of my farm here on Pacific Northwest. This is my trusty dog Fido and that bright bunny. Sure, he has food this morning. It is 6:38 in the morning. We're I'm just gonna take you guys on a quick little tour. Give me the old gator here, and we'll just go ahead and take a little stroll down what I've created here on this map. This here is my multi-fill station, my gas pump, wash tank system, and my garage. This is my shed. Those were my 45-foot draper heads for my uh, harvesters. This shed here has my two trailers and my truck and two cultivators inside there. And I have my corn headers over there. And I'll just open up uh, the old shed and take a look and see what we got here. Well, of course, I got my Brent Kurt Crone Portage Harvester. My S790 with the dual setup. E750. There's a big brute sprayer. Those 9750 tracks. And the S790 with the track system. Along with my two planters. Keeps this farm pretty much going. It's all the equipment that I need there keep my fields planted. So, you go over here to the laying house where I have oh, about 150 chickens. So, we'll go inside here. Inside here we have the boxing station where the eggs come out. Fill up those crates there in the individual boxes. And the chickens in here. Just, uh, not too much going on here in the morning. So when those boxes get full, we go ahead and take them out with skid steer. And uh, put them on the trailer. I got a full unit right there. And we'll sell those at the uh, wherever fetching the highest price for eggs. So we'll go ahead and go uh, on a little drive here over to the biogas facility, which is uh, what I own for fermented silage. It makes power from the silage um, and pays me money every night, every morning at midnight. It pays me a substantial amount of money. So, go ahead and turn it here. So, this is my biogas facility. So, these bunker silos are where I take my shaft and Store it up in there and pack it down, blanket it over, cover it, and it ferments into silage. And, and I use the tractor here with the uh, miller to uh, put that silage onto those belts there. And those belt system that I've put down will uh, take that silage up to the dumping point where it turns it into money uh, gauge up here tells you how much you have it maxes out at 5,000 liters so and then slowly works itself down as it uses it up here I have another silo that I have with the blanket still kind of on it and the byproduct of uh, the biogas station is digestate, which is here in this tank. Uh, I fill, fill up trailers, you can spread it on your field. I prefer to sell it. So there's no shortage of money with the biogas station here, which is one of the things that I wanted to utilize here on the Pacific Northwest map. Uh, it's a little bit of work, but it pays out quite well. So we'll go we'll go for a trip over to uh, my grain 
facility where I store my grains. Um, it's down here just a little bit. Um, yep, there's another shot of my draper heads in my uh, John Deere S790s. Another shot of the old farmhouse. And uh, I built this array system and three solar panels. Uh, they pay me uh, $3,149 an hour. So at the end of the day, they they net me some income. To help pay for fuel costs and seed and fertilizer. Things. This white barn here. This is my uh, sale barn. I can sell straw, grass, uh, and other things in there for a price. Uh, very useful. And this is my uh, grain silo facility here. Uh, two sets on each side. Uh, Holds uh, about 1,350,000 liters of grain right now, which is plenty enough, especially since I plan the market. So, I'm going to take a trip on over to where the shop is when you purchase vehicles or after you set them, that's where they will spawn up. The uh, crop here on the left in my field is a uh, crop of sunflowers, so they are in uh, the early growing stages. Uh, it's a high dollar seed per liter, um, so I like to grow it and sell, uh, and make make some money. Not make money. So this is the shop here. Um, this is where you, you equipment would spawn up that you purchase. You can sell equipment, uh, things like that. So uh, uh, anytime that you would get a vehicle, you'd have to drive it from here to your farm. Uh, if you get something stuck, you reset it, it would go there. So right now, let's go on over and check on uh, Old Case Country Farms. Uh, plays on the same map that I do. Uh, old Ritter Farm. We'll see what he's got going on. I haven't been over here to see. You go first person in vehicles as well. Which uh, is interesting sometimes. Sometimes it's fun. It's just a, another option that you have. So if you're taking a left here. So that field there out in front of us, that big one there, that is uh, Case Country Farm uh, property. So that's uh, what he's working on. Uh, off the big. This is his grain facility here. Uh, so he's got quite a big setup. He holds more than more grain than I can, but uh, he's uh, content he's going to fill those things up, so we'll just have to see. So this, uh, this is his farm here up there on the uh, on the right. So he's got a garage here set up, and a lot of machine shed like I have. Uh, he's got a fill, multi-fill station there for buying grains. We'll go through here. He's got a little tractor, one planter, a header in there. And we come over here. Whoa! What do I have here, fella? Hi, this is for kids. This is why you don't fall asleep when you play video games. You end up flipping your vehicles over, have an accident, don't drink and drive. So, uh, typical critter. Fall asleep. So, I'll go back here, take a look and see what he's got. Uh, he's got looks like he's got a big haul. Uh, a couple, a couple big boy harvesters here. Just kind of parked out here. He must not, uh, his quad track and a cedar wagon. There's a cedar. That's quite a big setup there. And doesn't look like he's got anything in his hall. Got a big, big, big building, but he ain't got anything in it. That's usually something. I want to go down this road here, and oh, he got his sprayers out here up against the fence. <laughs> he must have rammed in there pretty good. There's grain cart, so take a minute here and. Uh, Show you guys a little bit of the option menu. Oh, it's got save here. So uh, this here is the screen shows growth stages of your crops and what you have. So if you look there, this is uh, his farm here. And then this is the fruit type screen. The colors tell you what fruits are growing. Here I have uh, multiple things in my field so that I can spread it out evenly. Uh, this is the commodity screen. This uh, this will show you what the market is paying, what's going down, what's coming up, 
the locations in which those are paying at, and then, you know, uh, every once in a while, things will become on demand for a great demand price, and that's the blue there, paying at the barn for, uh, looks like, uh, straw. So, uh, this is your finance screen, what you're spending, what you're making, your loan, this is my chicken productivity screen, tell me how long before they're going to breed, what my productivity is, how many eggs I have. These are contracts that you can do for other farmers. These are showing the two farms on the map right now and the management that you can handle from there. So that is the uh, the menu screens that we we use. Uh, let's go, go on a quick little drive uh, around my field and uh, We'll take up. I can't go this way. I forgot. There's no bridge to get over the river. So I'm going to head back over to the bridge. Get back on the other side of the river. The green side of the river. Get out of this red country. You know, I say, nothing runs like a deer. So we'll get back over there where everything it makes a little bit more sense. So uh, we'll take right here. Right. And back over. Speed limit is 35, but that's just an advisement. Uh, it's not uncommon for some people, names not to be mentioned, to pick their equipment up and head to the farm, going way too fast, and then end up up into a tree. So, I uh, don't know who that is. So, here we are. We'll just head this way. So, we're heading south now. The uh, crop here on the left is uh, sunflowers. So, they've, they've usually fetch a good price. This is uh, canola. Uh, two different growing stages here. I uh, was a little bit behind getting that last stint in. So it's a little behind, but I'll have plenty to harvest while that's still growing. Mm. So I have canola here, and then of course I have uh, two swipes with the planter here of wheat, but I'm strictly harvesting the wheat for chicken feed because uh, that's what the chickens like. I like the wheat, so it keeps that productivity up there, so that I can keep making that money. So this, uh, this field is uh, quite big. Don't know exactly how much acreage is here. All I know is that I've absorbed uh, five fields together to make one big field. So it keeps me pretty busy. So. Uh, Up here, uh, where we're headed, there you see that there's a lot of trees. Um, in Farming Simulator, they have a lot of log you know, equipment and things like that. So this area of the map uh, I own here is something to where I could set up a logging camp and cut trees down and buck them into a length and load them onto semi-trailers and take them to the sawmill and sell them there, make wood chips out of them. This would be an area where you can set up a chipper, stage it up, but I don't mess around much with the trees. It's time consuming, it's irritating sometimes, the equipment doesn't want to work the way that it should. Uh, so I just, maybe if I get bored, I can fart around with it, but for the most part, I just uh, work in that biogas plant and uh, playing the market with the grain price. So this is the uh, sunflowers here and then uh, this is my corn uh, it is in its uh, medium growth it still has two more stages to go uh, it's got uh, coming up here it's got the tassels out here as you can see so we'll get out here and uh, take a look it's just uh, just a bit higher than it is here uh, it's a little short corn so uh, that's uh, that's my corn that I'll chop up while it's green and fill my silos in the biogas facility with chaff. Just like the grass here in this field that I planted, I will pick that with the crone fortage harvester and take that in and put it in the silo bunker to ferment into silage so that I can make the money in the biogas plant by selling uh, the digestate and uh, getting the money at midnight. So. This is uh, this was a tour of my farm, real quick, little show of uh, Chris's farm. I hope you enjoyed it. 